my friends and welcome back to my channel. My name is Tiffany and in today's video we are cleaning. It is a Sunday reset and we got to get a lot of stuff done. Today is actually Saturday when I am filming this because tomorrow we actually don't have any sports. I don't know how that happened but we're going to just welcome this you know, wonderful gift. Uh, today was Saturday. Today was insane. It is 4.15 and I were finally all home. Um, we started the day with uh, an away game for Griffin an hour away. So Danny had to, you know, take off to get him there. Then I had to get Ryan ready to go because I was leaving with Ronan for his first cheer competition. He took second place. Look how cute he is. Um, and then uh, I had to leave there early and he hitched a ride home with his cheer coach because she was coming to the soccer field after. And Ryan had his soccer game at uh, two. So we got him down there to the field, did his game in the rain. It was a gnarly game lots of dirty plays from the other team. It was rough. They won, but not fairly. And I don't like that. If you are a sports parent, you know what it's like to sit on the side and watch, you know, some foul play happen. Um, but anyway, so there was that. And then now we're home and I desperately need to clean. We got home late last night from Long Island for my father-in-law's internment yesterday. And that basically just means um, he passed away on June 30th and we were extremely close to him. Um, saw him every single day. My kids are extremely close to him and uh, it is a deep hole in our life. And I have talked about it a lot, so I don't want to you know, go there. But um, yesterday he was cremated and yesterday was his internment into a national uh, cemetery. Um, on Long Island because he is a veteran and he is a bronze star award winner. Don't worry, my pantry door, yes, just opened because my cat, like I've mentioned before, goes in there to eat and then this is why I don't ever shut it all the way because I never know if she's gonna be in there. So we'll just shut it now. And I'm sorry if I spooked anybody out. Um, but all of that, we just got back last night. That was a that was a rough day, but it was a beautiful day. The weather was perfect. There were so many beautiful people that came, so many wonderful things said about him, and it was just a, a beautiful ceremony. So um, today we're back. We're gonna get to cleaning. My house is trashed. I have got to scrub my bathroom. I haven't done it in probably three or four weeks. Like it is so bad. Um, I have 5 million loads of laundry to get caught up on. Ryan's having a sleepover with a friend tonight, so his friend should be here any minute. Griffin is away at a sleepover. Michaela and her boyfriend are at a birthday party. Aiden has to go to the uh, varsity football game. He's got to suit up and be on the sidelines for that in case he gets to play. And Ronan is resting after his first cheer comp, so we're also just beat. So we're gonna get some cleaning done. I have a lot of energy because I've just been running on adrenaline today. So we're gonna get stuff done. Um, I wanna show you my new calendar, my digital ca calendar. I'm super excited about that. I've gotta figure out what the day looks like um, or the week looks like and just get all the things done that are non-negotiables. I talked about this in last week's Sunday Reset. There are things that have to happen um, and other things that are, uh, you know, I would hope get to happen, but. We're going to start with the non-negotiables, get all that stuff done, get my house in order so I can just sit back and enjoy it tomorrow, maybe read a few chapters in my book and uh, feel really good about the day. So thank you guys so much for joining me. It's a long intro. Let's go ahead and get started. We're going to start here in my laundry room. I'm going to put away some of the clothes that I had hung to dry and we're going to get the laundry flipped over. As I mentioned, I had so much laundry to get done and it is now the next morning that I am editing and doing this voiceover and it's just going to be a full laundry day. I already told Danny we're just going to focus on getting all of the laundry done. He's actually folding a load right now out on the couch as he re-watches Ted Lasso and we're just going to try to get all of the laundry done and put away today. In a house of seven people, it's very easy to fall behind on laundry, especially when our nights are so busy. Every single night we're out somewhere until 8 or 8.30, so it definitely is easy to fall behind, but just trying to get at least a load done a day is, you know, very, very helpful. 
but during the school year, just getting things done in one day seems to be the most beneficial and really the only way I can get it done. I mentioned in a recent video that I took the plunge and invested in some good shoes for my poor little feet and I am still loving these shoes you guys they make such a giant difference in my feet and my back and the way that I feel and I will never ever ever go back so I invested in a pair of hokas and they are expensive but they are worth every single penny a lot of you commented on my weight loss video asking what kind of shoes I mentioned in that video because they really do make getting in my 10,000 steps possible because before I was so crippled that I barely was able to move around. My feet hurt so badly. So these have made such a giant difference. And honestly, I think they're pretty cute. And they especially cute in my weekend outfits. And, you know, I think that they work okay. So I'll link them for you down below. They have so many different kinds. You don't have to get these kinds, obviously. You have to find the one that work, the ones that work for you. I chose these because I loved the color. They're all white with a little bit of a brown uh, toe, but I just wanted something that I could wear with pretty much anything. And these are those, they work so well. So I'm gonna go ahead and get the laundry room finished up and gonna move out here to our little drop zone in the garage, get this area cleaned up. I needed to get all of the kids' sports uniforms cleaned. I wash them all, I'll iron what I need to, steam if I need to, and then I hang everything in that front closet by our front door. That way they know where everything is, we know where to grab it, and it's close by all of the other sports gear. I'm also gonna work here in the entryway, another little bit of a drop zone, get our recycling out, get things put away in the closet, and get it cleaned up in here. We have had the most beautiful sunny days for the past two weeks and we finally got some rain today. We were desperately needing rain. Everything was so dry. We've been running our sprinklers every single day, twice a day, just to keep our grass from dying, but we really needed rain. So I have been reading that it's supposed to be a Goldilocks fall, meaning that it was the perfect uh, dry and wet summer so we should have a long and beautiful fall season our leaves are slowly starting to turn and everything just looks so beautiful Another area that's easily neglected is this front bathroom. I don't use this bathroom very often. And to be honest, I really don't think it gets used very often. Uh, during the school week, the kids have a bathroom upstairs. Danny and I have our bathroom in our bedroom. So it does kind of get neglected, but I wanted to just take a second to make sure that I was wiping it down and getting it clean. I'm just using some Clorox wipes to wipe down everything as well as some glass cleaner and some toilet bowl cleaner. And then I'm also going to take a second to dust our blackboard and batten it, or this is actually shiplap, but it does get very dusty from the toilet paper. But this is a project we did over the summer. Maybe it was back in the spring to be hundred percent honest. I don't remember, but I love it. I am in love with this bathroom. I seriously 
do not regret for one second. Our bold move to go with the black walls. I just think it's so beautiful. I still love that farmhouse wallpaper that we chose. And if you have not seen that video, make sure you check it out. It is such a fun makeover. And I still love, love, love this space. As I mentioned, I do have to dust in here pretty often. I would say I do this every other week or so, and that's just because the toilet paper that we seem to use sheds a ton, and you can see all of it all over the black shiplap. So I'm just taking a second to wipe it down. This black color is the beautiful color Cracked Pepper by Sherwin-Williams, I believe. It actually might be Bear. It might be Bear. I can't remember, but it's a gorgeous, like blue, creamy black. I don't know how to describe it. It's just absolutely gorgeous. And I love that color. I'm going to go ahead and move into the kitchen now. I'm starting off by grabbing our recyclables. Like I mentioned, I'd recently got that sky calendar. I'm going to show it to you later, but I was so excited to make that purchase. We needed something that was going to streamline our calendars and our chore lists and I think that's going to do the job. So I'm really looking forward to that. We're going to go ahead and just put everything away from the island, which again is another drop zone and get this space cleaned up. can't believe we are rapidly approaching October and it's going to be time to transition this fall decor into Halloween decor. I know that there are a lot of people out there that don't celebrate Halloween and if that's you, I hope you still stick around, but we are a big Halloween family here. We love Halloween. We have an annual Halloween party every year and it is so much fun. This year I'm going with a fall festival theme, so we're going to have a lot of fun games out in the yard. Hopefully the weather cooperates we're gonna have the fire pit area going it's just gonna be so much fun and we're already trying to figure out our Halloween costumes the kids are really in a place where they like to have their own costumes they don't really like to do the family costumes anymore which is a bummer because we used to do that and it was so much fun but I am just really looking forward to that so I'm going to be filming a home tour so that you can see what our house looks like right now for fall uh, before I transition it to Halloween. And we do kind of transition back to fall for the month of November for Thanksgiving. We do host, and so I like to keep it nice and fall-like in here. And then of course it'll be Christmas time. So 
really looking forward to that. I'm already starting to plan out what my Thanksgiving table is going to look like this year. I'll definitely share all of that with you. And, you know, we still have tons of fall content, so hopefully you're not over it. I am just living for the fall season this year. I love that I went super traditional in the house this year. Last year, I did a ton of white, not a lot of color and orange, and it just felt so bland. It did not feel like me. So I'm really excited that we went all in this year full Hallmark channel, full Stars Hollow. I just feel like it's so perfect and the kids have been loving it as well. And now that, you know, we're really moving into that fall season outside, everywhere around us is changing. Our house seems to be, you know, our neighborhood seems to be changing the slowest, but everything around us, every time I drive somewhere, it's tons of yellow and orange leaves. So I know that's coming our way. I'm not trying to rush it because as quickly as they turn, they just fall right off the trees. So I'm just embracing how slow and wonderful it's been this season, but still really, really loving this traditional decor. The sweatshirt that I'm wearing that says kindness I picked that up this summer at Old Navy it actually had what looked like a little oil stain on it and so the shop owner gave it to me uh, at a super discount I think I got it for like eight dollars and it was normally like 40 or something like that so I was real did I say shop owner I maybe I, I don't know if I said that, but what I meant to say was the manager. Maybe I said manager. I don't remember, but I absolutely love this sweatshirt. I wear it all of the time, especially to school. And those, of course, are my favorite Walmart jeans. Still loving those. They're like a boyfriend jean. I'll link them for you down below. They are my absolute favorite, although I will say they're getting a little big. And I get a lot of questions about my watch band and that's from Amazon. I'll link it for you as well. I wanted a watch band that kind of looked like a bracelet. I like something very, very thin. I have, you know, larger wrists and so I don't want anything that's going to add bulk. And so I like this one. It's got little faux diamonds on it. I think it looks a little bit nicer, especially during the school week when I'm dressed uh, in business casual. I do usually dress nice for, for school. So I think it looks good. We're gonna go ahead and move over into the dining room and I'm going to work on getting this area cleaned up and put back together. Again, here's a look at all those really beautiful fall colors. I am just living for this this year. I just really love the warm tones and the warm cozy vibes it brings in my house.
Moving over into the coffee bar, this area was already pretty picked up, so we're just gonna take a second to wipe down the counters, and then I'm gonna share with you that really awesome calendar right there. really quickly this is my skylight uh, calendar um, this is just one day but it's got it you know everything we have going on for the day um, you know broken up by kid uh, which is amazing like they each have their own category up here and then here this top part is their chores I haven't put their chores in yet uh, but this is what they'll look like eventually when I do put them in, which I'm probably gonna do tomorrow. Um, it has a meal section. I just got this, like I opened it yesterday. So um, this is a meal section. So you fill in what you're eating um, and then you can create like a list. You can put photos in to act as your um, screen saver. So stay tuned, this is a future video my front porch and outside decorating and then you can create a grocery list or like another to-do list which is amazing um i have it because today was just so crazy i had it as a today only like to view <clears throat> but you can view it differently let's see calendar i'm still learning and if we did seven days this is what this looks like now. So I can see, we can see the whole week, which is great. Just today would have been bananas to see. Um, but they, the kids can see like how they're doing with their chores and stuff. So that's going to be really, really cool. Let's put this, whoops, settings. Let's put this back to one day for right now. Yeah. Aiden's still at the varsity football game. <laughs> um, the other thing I wanted to show you that I just recently picked up is that little um, wax burner right there. Um, this is from Walmart. How stinking cute is this? I need to dust these windowsills, but oh my gosh. And not only is it adorable, but I found a super delicious smelling uh, wax melt I'm gonna show you that I have burning right now also from Walmart it's called Halloween look at that two dollars and it smells like something amazing um, I'm also oh, there's a cat with a hairball right now I'm also looking forward to burning this one this is from 1803 candles I've told you guys before how much I love 1803 candles but I'm saving this for October look at how stinking cute can't wait so have that I will link those for you down below um, as well as the skylight calendar because you guys I'm obsessed I'm thinking we're of mounting it um, I think I might mount it up here take this down and mount it here um, but I'm not sure yet so for now it's just gonna live here which is great and um, yeah Wait till you see that video, you guys love this video coming up. This will be up on Wednesday. The last area we're gonna move into tonight is my bathroom. This desperately needed to be cleaned. This is actually much later. <laughs> I had stopped filming, had dinner with my family. My son Ryan, whose birthday was last weekend, he had a sleepover with a friend this night. So we did pizza. The boys are out watching a movie now. And I am coming in to work on the bathroom that desperately needs to be cleaned. So halfway through this, my camera does die. So you only kind of see me clean this area, but the camera dying felt like a sign to me saying, all right, go enjoy your family. So I did, and I finished cleaning the bathroom actually this morning. So 
you know, you just got to listen to uh, sometimes a higher power telling you to take it easy. I was able to get through the things that I needed to get through and I will work on getting the rest of it finished up today. There's always another day. Just listen to your body and spend time with your family and take care of yourself as well as your home. And that is going to bring us to the end of this week's Sunday Reset, my friends. I really hope that you enjoyed this video and found some motivation to get through some things in your home. And if not, I hope that you were able to just relax and find some comfort in another video. So many of you have shared with me that coming to this channel is a comfort for you. And I love to hear that. I definitely feel that way too about some of my favorite creators. So I'm so happy that I can be that for you. And hopefully you're leaving today feeling relaxed and renewed. Make sure you're subscribed and tuned in. I've got some super great videos coming up this week. Wednesday will be my fall porch and outside decorate with me. And I am in love with how it turned out. And on Friday, we'll have a gorgeous fall home tour. So make sure you come back for more and I will see you guys in the next one. Take care of yourselves.